In this tutorial, we are going to look at transformations in Grasshopper. So for start, uh, we're going to start with just a simple line constructed in Rhino. And we will reference that it is a curve. We will set that one curve. <coughs> and now we're going to head over to the Transform tab and see what we can do with it from here. So the first one we're going to work with is the move transformation. So move transformation is very simple. It requires just a piece of geometry that you want to move and a translation vector. So a vector is basically a, uh, a vector quantity, meaning that it has both magnitude and direction to it. So it's basically a direction and an amount that we want to move the uh, the certain object and so we can create vectors right from the vector tab and so there are several ways that we can do it we could uh, we could construct a vector just from x y and z values Actually, what I might do is I'll just increase the uh, value of those to 10 and the minimum to negative 10 before I copy that. And so that is our vector. And so now as we increase the slider, we can move the object back and forth up and down and left and right. So that's what a vector is. Um, we can also create a vector from two points, which can be quite useful sometimes. So for instance, if we, uh, let's say we wanted to move this line right along its length so that there was another line right oh, so that the line duplicated itself at its end. What we could do is we could get the end points of this curve. And then from the we could create a vector from the start to the end. And then when we plug that vector into our transformation, it's put what it's put a new line exactly at the end of the original line. Uh, the vector two point also has this unitize output. So basically, unitizing a vector means turning its uh, the the length of the vector to one unit. So if we were to turn that to true, you can see that the vector is now only one unit long. This can also be confirmed by grabbing a vector length component and we'll grab a panel to check the output. So the vector at the moment is 11.66 units long. As soon as we unitize it, it becomes one unit long. So now instead of um, instead of just moving an object, what if we want to make several copies of it? Well, what we have in the transform tab is also a set of array commands. So maybe we might want to do a linear array. So this basically takes a piece of base geometry and copies it along a vector a certain number of times. So similarly, we'll take our base curve, we'll set our direction, and now we, and we can also create an integer slider, which now gives us control over the number of copies. We can also use the uh, the other vector we created. Mm. 
and the process is exactly the same. Alright, now the other kind of transformation that we might use a lot is the rotation. So we'll plug our base geometry in, and now what a uh, what Grasshopper is asking us for is an angle, and if you're ah, oh, and so Grasshopper works with radians as opposed to degrees. Uh, luckily, there are ways to convert between this if you are only familiar with degrees. So we could set this slider from zero to three sixty for the amount of degrees, and then we'll grab a radians component, and so the radians component converts from degrees to radians, and then we plug that value into the angle. So when we set this to 90, it will convert into radians and rotate the curve from 90 degrees. And now the last input that we have on our rotation is the plane, or basically the, uh, the origin point that we want to rotate around. So for this we could just use a point and uh, once again we can edit this to be whatever we like I'm just using negative 10 to 10 as my default for anything and as we increase or decrease that it uh, changes the origin point of our rotation now Similarly to how, similarly to the move component, we had the linear array. Um, and if you want to make multiple copies of a rotation, what you have is a polar array. And so we'll just plug everything in again. The base geometry we want to rotate. The, uh, the polar array plane, which is our center the number of copies we want to make which we'll make a new slider for and we'll make an integer slider from 0 to 20 and what we also have on this array component is an angle we want to fill so uh, once again, we need we need a radian value for this, so we can make a copy of this degrees to radian function, plug it into the angle, and so this will give us 10 copies within a 90 degree span. But of course, we can change this to be 360 if we so choose. Alright, this has been uh, Basic Transformations in Grasshopper.